Um, I am here to, uh, well, my name is Murphy. I'm here to compare both these two together, side by side, shooting both of them together for you. All right, the Bull Armory SAS UL and the Staccato CS, okay? Well, there's a lot of videos out there that, um, you know, that sh I guess verse, I'm not sure there's like verses for any of them really, uh, but I don't know if there's the, the Reddit world, Facebook world, all these 2011 enthusiasts, homies, they're like, what should I choose? What's is better? And there's all these opinions out there and I'm like, okay, um, it's all relative. You got to choose what works best for you. Now, I'm hoping that uh, this perspective can uh, add value to uh, the piece that you're going to be choosing to carry. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess when I, what I mean by relative is both of them are, you know, they're similar, but they're different. And there's, uh, there's all these uh, things out there that, uh, oh, sh oh, there you go, yeah. There's all these things out there that, um, you know, you know, why choose bull, why choose staccato, um, you know, like uh, quality control, customer service, and stuff like that, and I'm gonna lay it all out for you guys, okay? So, first things first, um, I did do a, I did do a, a first video uh, comparing, well, I, I broke both of them down, I compared both barrels, both grips, both slides, all that together. So here's this thing with my bull armory though. I modified it. <laughs> so it's ported. Uh, it's got stippling and it's been dimpled. So yeah. Um, it's not stock. <laughs> I, uh, I also switched out the, uh, uh, let's say the, some of the internals as well. So this is a Wilson combat hammer, skeletonized hammer. And I also changed the strut in there as well because the previous, uh, the bobtail hammered was, uh, it was, what's that word? Welded into the strut for this one. So I was like, why the hell would you do that? What if I wanted to change parts? But it's all good. But I'm not going to be doing a, a review on, on just, um, you know, on all the specs on it because other YouTubers can do that. They've done it and they're way better at it than me. I'm just going to shoot both of them side to side and just being a small guy, like I'm a 120 pound dude. I'm 5'5", five five, I'm skinny as hell. And yeah, just uh, my hands are tiny too. So all of this counts, That's this is all relative because if you're a guy with big hands, um, you know, shooting a Staccato CS, then it makes sense why you don't like this thing because the grips are tiny, er, than the C2. Carries the same amount though, but this is more, I guess, geared toward people with really small hands. So yeah, uh, I have small hands. Now, with the bowl, obviously, the mag, uh, the grip is bigger than the Staccato CS. Um, I have a video on Rumble, you can go and check it out. I literally put side by side against the two. But literally, you can, you can see, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, anyways, so there's that. There's the mag well for that. Okay, not sure if you can see. Yeah. Now, here's the CS. See the difference? So yeah, this is skinnier, this is fatter, all right? This is too many Whoppers, too many Big Macs, and this is a guy who is a vegan and has to eat a clean diet. So um, they both hold 16, uh, plus one. Um, now, another thing is uh, quality control between both of them. So obviously, you know, Staccato, they're well known for Staccato getaway bug, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> and uh, Bull Armory, not so much. <laughs> You know, I mean, the it, it's tough to get uh, uh, was it a representative or a customer support uh, when it comes to parts for this thing. And not only that, um, there's a lot, there's just a lot of things that happens when it comes to, uh, I guess, the bull army side. You know, the plates, uh, the plates that come with this for the uh, the 507 footprint. The, countless times, um, I've heard, I saw photos of. You know the plate being totally stripped and blown off when they were when they were shooting, um, but yeah, it just uh, it takes more work or even prayers to make sure that this runs functionally right out the box. Um, I put a thousand rounds into this one. I haven't put a thousand rounds into the Staccato CS yet, but I can uh, tell you, go away, wasp! I, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna shoot you. Anyways, 
um, I can tell you right now that the mags, uh, the magazines for the Staccato CS are hard to freaking break in. Holy Christ. Um, it will, like, I will put a full 16 round or in here and you literally, it sticks out and you got to like shove it in in order for it to go all the way in. So, um, what's tough about that is, um, when you do uh, put one, was it? When you do put one in the chamber, um, and then put another sixteen round in, uh, it's tough to force that thing in. So I think before you even do that, oh, that's interesting. I can see the springs in the Staccato CS. Huh? There's a little gap. I just noticed that. Y'all see that? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Let me see. I'll show you. Right there, you go. You see that? See the gap? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a thing, but my God, what the hell? Huh. Okay, well, Staccato, if you see this, if you want to reach out to me, it'll be kind of nice, but I'm not sure it's supposed to do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, do I, does this have it? No, the bowl only doesn't have it. What the hell? Look at that. So, there you go. Hey, stop. Like that, right? And look at this. Let me see if you can see it. There you go, right there. Look at that. What is that? What is that? There you go. <laughs> well, anyways, um, yeah, that's uh, that's a little awkward, but um, I'll be shooting both of them side to side, and you guys can uh, make the decision yourself. Uh, just remember this. Is ported so this is obviously not stock um, I put in a lot of money <laughs> into making this shoot flat um, but yeah just gonna shoot side by side together and then uh, you'll know All right, and uh, here's a good five. Here's a good five rounder. Fast as I can. Okay, now here's my, uh... oh, eh, that might help, right? You guys saw it. Um, <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, just side to side together. I think the biggest thing um, is there's pros and cons to both. There's, yeah, there's, there's pros and cons to both. If with the bull armory, it's thirteen hundred dollars, uh, give or take. That's before taxes and shipping and FFL. Um, the grip on the bull is wider, and just remember that my bull is ported. It's stippled. It's custom. Uh, you know, it, it's stippled dimpled, ported, and it's going to shoot different than the actual, you know, stock bowl. But, um, you, you know, I've uh, shot both of them side to side, and you can kind of see how both recoils uh, are. Um, they're both snappy-ish. Um, obviously, the CS is more snappy because it's not ported. Um, I think the biggest thing that, um, you know, like, not everything is going to be perfect. There's, there are going to be issues, and you're just going to have to work with them. You know, uh, me personally, the Staccato CS feels better in my hands than does the bull because of how slim the frame is. Uh, I mean, sl uh, how slim the grip is. 
and it's a plus for me, um, especially when I conceal because I'm, like I said, a skinny dude. Uh, it definitely helps. <laughs> Other than that, um, you know, I, uh, I, I, I do want to keep this video short. I'll, I'll just throw in some more videos of just me shooting and stuff like that um, just to help you guys, uh, uh, I guess, give you a better uh, perspective on which one you want to get. If you want to spend $2,500 uh, for a Cicado CS, it comes with three mags. Um, obviously, it does not come with a plate, so you got to figure out what red dot you want to put on your plate and Dawson Precision. I think their plates are around like 160 bucks, so that's something you have to add on top of what you already, you know, on top of the Staccato. So you, um, and uh, yeah, uh, you had to change uh, for the Staccato CS, you had to tra uh, change the entire trigger. It doesn't come with the trigger shoe, that's like another 80 bucks. So yeah, that's you're, you're putting a hefty amount of in this Staccato already, the CS Staccato. And that's already like twenty-seven, twenty-eight hundred dollars, give or take. Um, with the bowl, uh, you know, it starts off at sixteen hundred. Uh, comes with two mags. I believe each mag is fifty-five. Oh, by the way, Staccato CS mags are like a hundred bucks. <laughs> you know, uh, with the bowl, uh, I think they're. I I don't even know how. But I don't know how much their mags are, but they're like. Was it fifty-five bucks, give or take? Um, and it does come with an octave plate, which is nice. Uh, it does not come with rear uh, with rear sights though. So that's something that you want to. Um, uh, taking into consideration and um, you can change the trigger shoe on the bull armory which is pretty cool you know and I think each trigger shoe is like what I don't know you could it's customizable um, the trigger on the bull is lighter than uh, this on the one on the staccato CS I think the um, the bull starts anywhere from three to three and a half pounds stock and um, the staccatos anywhere from four to four point five give or take so that's something that you had to consider as well. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I put a lot of money into my bowl. I put in like, I think over $1,000 in just customizable parts uh, with internals, uh, dipple, stippled, um, ported. Um, the person who did my stipple work was uh, Matt Adams. Matt from Paint Customs. Uh, dude, you did awesome. And then the person who did my porting was David over from a DCS Gunworks. So, um, yeah, I think at the at the end of it, uh, you had to figure out what you want to put into. Obviously, you saw the, uh, the Staccato CS, um, that mag did, um, there's no uh, lock back at the very last round, which is very concerning for some people. Uh, so if that's a quality control issue, you might want to let them know as well. So you're already, you know, $2,800 into that much just for that Staccato CS. Um, you know, I'll definitely let them know about, my, uh, about, uh, about that magazine. And then uh, other than that, um, you know, you guys just got to make a discernment decision of, of like, you know, what fits you, what fits your hands. Every gun is, uh, you have to think of this, you have to think of the gun industry or just firearms in this way. It's one size does not fit all. And it sucks because, <laughs> you know, it, it's something that you have to, you have to learn. So um, are your hands small? Are, they hands, are your hands big? Do they fit more comfortably with thinner grips, larger grips. Um, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine who had a 365 macro and he said he loves the gun, but the thin was just, the, the, the frame was just too skinny for his meaty hands. So I told him to look into Icarus Precision, which is a lot beefier. Still holds the same amount of mags though. Um, so yeah, it's just something that you want to look into. So whatever it is that your style is, you have to figure out what it, you know, you have to figure out what your style is. Uh, most people just, they, uh, you know, they stick with one platform and then they just run it, you know? Um, so uh, yeah, other than that, dude, other than that, guys, uh, hopefully uh, that helps you guys. For the love of God, stay safe out there. Um, support other channels, um, you know, other people who are much more larger than me, um, other small businesses, other companies out there uh, who do give a crap. And yeah, other than that, see you, see you later.